Y'all, Tasha K was not kidding when she said there was a, con- she thought there was a conspiracy to take her down. She's blasted the media. She's gone after the, the PR machine that is the record company. She's gone against the powerful and our morals. If you don't watch her state of reunion, make sure you watch my live. But y'all, Tasha dropped a bomb shell. She said that everybody said that she was perjuring herself is a bold-faced liar. Listen, I've reached out to a few legal eagles. I have my opinion, a little legal analysis. Let's get into this mess. Before we do that, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notifications button because as soon as we get these court transcripts, I'm going to tell you what Tasha's talking about, we go going through them with a fine-tooth comb because honestly, at this point, what really is the truth? I just want to see what the court, the official court reporter wrote down, but let's get into this mess and see what Tasha's talking about and if it has any weight or credibility, you're going to be surprised at the answer. Let's get into this. So this Tasha K rain won't let up, baby. What is the newest revelation in the Tasha K trip case? Well, we know it's over, right? We know she got to pay Cardi $3.8 million. We know there are a bunch of fake GoFundMes, according to Miss Tasha K, right? That's that we're trying to scam for money. We also know that Tasha K is not over. She thinks she was wrong. She blames the media. If you haven't seen my live, go ahead and watch it. I address her State of the Union address she did last night. She blames the media. She blames the machine. She blames the record labels. She blames the toxicity in our culture. But guess what? Tasha K is also pointing the finger at the court reporters who were the unofficial court reporters, right? The people that were observing the trial and were reporting on it on YouTube. Simply going after the claim that she perjured herself in court specifically now this is directly from her instagram page okay Tasha, uh, her instagram page ny with tasha k miss tasha miss Lat- uh, latasha kibi right says no lies were told on anyone i never admitted to lying about anything no one threw anyone under the bus mostly everything reported was a lie from the inside the court transcripts will be available to the public soon i forgot to add that i forgot to add this into my speech Go read the transcripts. Now, listen, I'm of two minds of this. You know, I'm a duplicitous thinker, right? Um, uh, all you th- uh, intellectual duplicitous thinkers, come to the front of the class because we're about to have a conversation. I literally, um, a, a, I have two minds about this, right? For one, right? She said that no one threw anyone under the bus. That's a direct reference to her husband that got on the stand and testified and said testimony from what I understand that directly contradicted to what Tasha K was saying however a lot of people and these were legal analysis were speculating and I pointed out in my lives that this could be some type of strategy because her husband was involved because he is in charge president of Kibi Studios which is Tasha K's uh company that they had set up where Tasha K I believe was an employee and he was the head right is for LLC tax liability ada 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 right we're going to look into that I'm going to get Jess Jonda she is a skilled legal analysis to come in once we get the full court transcripts to comment on that go ahead and hit the like button and notification so you can be notified when the live goes when it go when we schedule the live now listen to this right this is the important part. No lies were told on anyone. I never admitted to lying about anything. No, now, this is a serious claim. This is a serious claim. I contacted a few legal experts and they did tell me this. The word perjury, and we have to wait for the official trial transcripts. I've seen a little bit of the daily transcripts. However, they were written by someone that was not a court reporter. They were completely unbiased, of course, but they were not the official court reporter. The official court reporter is going to release the trial transcripts sometime next week at the latest the week after that. We will have them and we will read them and we will go live. However, let's look at the word perjury that was thrown around by a lot of in-court reporters. It's unclear exactly what lies she is referring to. It's important to notice that to know that perjury is when you lie in court. In court is when you are sitting in the witness stand. You can be in the back of the court and say, my name's Ronald Reagan and I am Richard Nixon's son. And that is not perjury. What they consider perjury is when you are on the witness stand, you have taken the oath, 
affirmed, sworn in, whatever your religious I- religion is, you affirm, swear in, and you give testimony. Perjury is when that testimony, when you've been sworn in and you are on the witness stand. Again, you can be at your table, your counselor's table, looking at the judge and say, my name is Mickey Mouse. That's not considered perjury in court. Again, you must be on the witness stand and you must have been sworn in. Now, once you do that, that is perjury, right? To say something, and again, we're going to wait for those trial transcripts, but let me give you a scenario. To say something in a video or out in the court hallway or even at the table sitting next to your lawyers, right? And then when you get on the stand, you change your story, you clarify, or you say something completely different, that's not perjury. Do you see what I'm saying? Perjury is lying under oath. If you are not under oath, it's not perjury. My legal analysis is saying it is possible that Tasha K said all this stuff on her channel. Then when she got on the stand, right? When she got on the stand, she actually told a truthful recollection of what? That might have contradicted her previous statements. But if her previous statements were not a sworn affidavit, it was not in a deposition, a sworn deposition, or it was not in the witness stand in a court of law after she's been sworn in, you can't really technically call that perjury and you can't call that lies. Now, I am playing devil's advocate. We need to get those court transcripts to find out what Tasha K is talking about. Simply, she literally is accusing Cardi B's team of getting up and literally railroading her and doing a PR campaign that had nothing to do with facts in order to get that huge judgment from the jury. Now, is this true or not? Based on the evidence we have seen and heard, no, it doesn't seem to be factual. However, Tasha K is imploring us to read the court transcripts to find out what was said exactly and what was done. Because again, it's not about people being biased, right? It is about whether people understand legal terms and the legal system. Again, a lot of people were reporting on this. A lot of people were inside the courtroom. We even had a Lily Young. I trust our reporting of Lily was really unbiased. Go look at that. But I want to see those court transcripts because honestly, I have questions. And we are going live and being like, okay, we see the transcript. We can compare it to what to what all the people reporting live from the courtroom were saying. And we can actually point out where the lies were. And I would like to actually see. We could ask Miss Tasha K. That would be great. And we could ask Miss Latasha Kibi questions about, okay, where are these discrepancies? Can you point it out directly? Again, listen, I know Tasha ain't got time for that. She's rebuilding her kingdom. She gave us enough crumbs. And we're going to pick them up, my little tattletales. Make sure you turn on your likes. And make sure you subscribe so we can get this popping off. Give me a little title tells. Let me know what you think. Do you believe Tasha? Do you, did you actually, what you think of what her address last night? Do you believe her now? And baby, do you want to see the court transcripts? Well, it don't matter if you want to see them or not, because I'm going to bring them. But I was just taking the temperature in this room. Go ahead and let me know what you're thinking.